surely there are some students watching us who are thinking about hopefully in the future working on SDH or there are lots of subtitlers who have been working in translation and are considering also accepting SDH tasks and they would want to move and do this work as well. Uh, what tips can you give to such people who are interested in exploring this area of subtitling? How can they get prepared well for these tasks? I think it's really important to understand the community. And so deaf awareness training for me is very important. I think there's a lot of people that come into the job of SDH having no clue about the audience that they're preparing a, a, a file for. And so that's my advice. I think be very aware of the community. And because at the end of the day, it's, it's a service that we are providing for them. And that's how to start. For me, that's the beginning of any good career in SDH is understanding the audience. Um, I also think that like, this is something that I wish that someone told me at the very start, and that's to create your word bank from the beginning if you're going to work in SDH, because like, there's very particular sounds that are provoking a very particular emotion at times, and getting those words perfectly to describe that moment can come with a lot of added time. And so if you do intend to start working on SDH tasks, I would prepare a word bank from the very beginning. I didn't do it until a couple of years into my career. And I know that it, it just made a lot more um, room for, um, I had to make a lot more room for um, that added thought time. <laughs> and so now that I have started one and I'm trying to collaborate with my peers to make a massive one, um, yeah, that that really is beneficial. Now that you mentioned this word bank, um, perhaps you can disclose some of your secrets around it. So is that somewhere in some note-taking software? Do you have a physical notepad? How do you go about creating Wait. your personal word bank? I do actually have a notepad that I sit on my desk and if I am watching something or I'm seeing something and I like a few of the descriptors that they've used and I don't have it, I think I don't have it in my own list, I'll write them down. So I've got it here from, this is just from this week. I, a couple that I had written down because I hadn't thought of them myself. Um, I loved the word plucky for a very like plucky sort of string music that was playing. Um, I had written that one down because I didn't think I had that specific one in my list. Um, and then there was, what else, strident. Strident. I I added that as well because, you know, like, like I say, like this, it is a creative job, and finding those words that describe the the particular moment perfectly is extremely important. So anytime I come across them, just note them down and then later go and add them to my list. Sure. So in a way, you're a collector of words. Uh... Yes, definitely, and. Like, of course, I come up with my own too, but like, it's great when you see one, you think that might work for a moment in the future. And so just good to have them. Yeah. 